The family of a slain Navy SEAL from Oregon is caught up in a highly charged debate. It's over whether calls for military backup were denied when the U.S. Embassy was attacked in Benghazi, Libya last month. Tyrone Woods' father says it's not a political question, but he's demanding answers from the White House in these days leading up to the presidential election. Coin Local 6 reporter Casey Montoya has the story. Well, Ken, Oregon High School grad, 41-year-old Tyrone Woods, he was, he was one of the four killed in that September 11th attack. Woods' father called into a Portland radio talk show this week demanding answers from the White House. We need to make sure that this does not happen again. A grieving father called into a local radio talk show this week expressing his frustration over not knowing what happened the night his son was killed. Charles Woods' son, Ty, was killed in Benghazi, Libya last month with three other Americans, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens. Woods tells Lars Larson the truth needs to come out. And it's not a matter of being mad at anyone either, but just what's coming out right now, kind of the whole feeling that I got about this when it happened is we're not being told the truth. Something fishy is about what happened over there. This just doesn't happen. On Friday, Fox News reported sources on the ground in Benghazi said three urgent requests for military backup during that attack were denied by officials in the CIA chain of command. Those officials, according to Fox News, also told CIA operators to stand down rather than help the ambassador's team when shots were heard. A CIA spokesperson denied that report Friday afternoon, but Woods says he doesn't believe it. My son, he wasn't even there. He was at a safe house about a mile away. He got the distress call. He knew, he heard them crying for help. Republicans have been publicly demanding answers from the White House, and reporters have followed suit. Friday afternoon, a reporter in Denver asked President Obama if those requests for help were denied during the attack. So we're going to gather all the facts, find out exactly what happened. Uh, and make sure that it doesn't happen again, but we're also going to make sure that we bring uh, to justice those uh, who carried out these attacks. That answer from President Obama not satisfying conservatives who are pressing for more information. Woods leaves behind a wife and kids. The White House is investigating the attack, and again, President Obama says he will find out who's responsible. Ken?